Hello friends, in this operating system class, we will see uh, the second part of access matrix that is implementation of access matrix. Uh, here, uh, there are uh, four methods to implement this access matrix. First one is global table, access list of objects, capability list of domains, and lock key mechanism. Let us see all those things one by one. The first implementation model is global table. This is the very simplest one and it consists of order triples which contains domain object and a right set that is access right set. Whenever an operation is executed this particular object within this domain then the global table is searched for this triple that is domain object and access right. Okay and the operation should be belongs to this access right that is it should be access for this particular right on the object okay if the triple is found then the operation is allowed to continue otherwise the exception condition is right that is the error message will be given for the user next let us see the drawback of global table the global table is very large in size so we cannot accommodate that table in the main memory hence it required additional io that is input output or secondary storage devices right and hence we have to implement this virtual memory technique to manage this very large size global table because the size is very high uh, so we have to implement this virtual memory technique and it is difficult to take advantage of special grouping of objects or domains and um, we can see one example for this if anyone read a particular object anyone read a particular object this object must have separate entry in every domain so that the size will get very much increased for this global table and managing and maintaining this global table is very difficult the second one is access list for objects here each column in the access matrix can be implemented as access list uh, for one particular object for example and this is the uh, access list for this particular object here empty entries can be discarded see these are empty entries this can be discarded right and the resulting list for each object consisting of ordered pair of domain comma right ordered pair of domain comma right okay see this is domain and this is the corresponding right of this particular object which means that define it defines all domains with non-empty sets of access right for that particular object that is in domain d1 the file f1 is having only read access okay this approach can be extended easily to define a list and a default set of access right. Uh, when an operation M on the object J attempt in domain DI, domain DI, we search the access list for object OJ and looking for entry um, DI, RK. DI means domain, RK means access with the M, M means operation. Operation should be accessed this particular right. Okay, so we need to test whether in this particular domain, which access is given for that particular object, for particular object. So we need to test that in the access matrix. If entry is found, then we allow that particular operation to perform, otherwise, we have to check the default set list and if m is in the default set then we can allow the access otherwise the exception will occur that is error message will be raised for efficiency we may check the default set first and then search the access list so so that we can uh, reduce the access time the third one is capability list of domains. Capability list for a domain is a list of objects together with the operations allowed for those objects. Okay, capability list which contains objects along with the operations.
right and the object is represented by the physical name or address okay in the memory where the object is exactly stored and which is called as capability and to execute an operation on this particular object okay the process executes the operation specifying the capability for the object as a parameter okay so for executing this particular operation we have to give the address of object address of object as the parameter right and the position of capability means the access is allowed the fourth one is lock and key mechanism okay and it compromise uh, the access list and the capability list okay uh, in this lock and key mechanism each object has a list of unique bit pattern which is called as locks and each domain has a list of unique bit pattern that is called as key hence it is called as lock and key mechanism okay suppose if you want to execute a particular process and in a domain then it can access an object isn't it only if the domain key should match with the locks of object that is a process wanted to execute an object which is in the domain then the domain keys should map with the locks of object then only the process is allowed to execute otherwise it will raise the error message okay here the capability list um, the list of keys for your domain must be managed by the operating system on behalf of domain okay the keys should be mapped managed by os only because the users are not allowed to change or <coughs> Uh, modify the keys uh, directly okay only the operating system should take care of the domain keys users are not allowed to change uh, so far we have seen the implementation of access matrix and uh, there are uh, four uh, different methods of implementing the access matrix the global table access list for objects capability list for domain and lock and key mechanism and uh, in the next class, we will see the access control. Thank you.